So I wanted to start off with a particular painting because previously I've done a painting of a poncho and it was from Dia de los Muertos and I really like the patterns and the colors. So this is my another, well another attempt to make something similar but of course it's not Dia de los Muertos. So instead I really like this model's face. She's like a Mexican model. But for whatever reason, it turned out to kind of look more similar to my mom. Or maybe because I had the same features. Or maybe because I just thought about my mom when I was painting this. So it kind of looks like my mom just a little bit. And I really wanted to put Surabosso over her hair. And the way that I put it together, technically it wasn't a photo of just the lady and the reboso over it. No, I actually kind of, I sort of just took that picture from the model, of course, and then I used her photo as a reference. But I found another picture of the reboso, and this time the reboso was over a young kid. And so I technically just changed it up on Procreate and that's how I was able to come up with this concept by just switching things around and just cutting and pasting and fixing the proportions. So that's ideally where I got my reference from. I know I can't, I'm just not one of those artists that can just imagine things. I have to see it visually. So in order for me to create things, to see things visually, I create things on my program, put things together, and I'll take two different pictures, three different pictures, depending on what it is, and then it's like collages, like you put a collage together of what you want to paint as your reference. So that was my intention here. My also intention was to just basically wing it and see what happens. And it was technically just to be a study. I've been wanting to get better and perfect my shadows so that's why you can see well in the future videos not right here but you will see more shadows on her face and her cheekbones as well as her neck this painting actually became very very special to me it's kind of cool because from my older paintings, because I do have some old paintings that I've started in quarantine and we have them around my house and it's a huge difference between then and how I paint now and it's so incredible to see of all that improvement and all that time and energy that I put into my paintings and I used to cry thinking that I would never be good enough that I will never improve and thinking maybe I was just wasting my time proving to myself that I can be a better artist and I can be a better painter. So this painting taught me a lot. This painting gave me hope and it's so incredible to see how a big difference it's made. And also it's pretty cool to see that I fell into my art style and what I enjoy to paint. So unless it's what I love to paint and what I feel, I don't like to paint anything else that I'm forced to. That goes with commissions. I stopped taking them. I don't like to take commissions because it doesn't feel right to me and I'm forced to do something that I want to do.
So my videos are coming to an end. Thank you for sticking around and watching my art videos. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully you love it just as much as I do. I know I always say that. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for sticking around. Uh, just check out the finished painting and enjoy. Thank you.